hey guys what's up so in this video we will have a look at class eval method like how to use class eval method in Ruby so cla uh, class eval method is used when during the execution of the code you create or uh, I mean you define new methods for your class existing class or existing modules uh, okay so one thing you should be very much clear that this is a method that you can call on class objects or module objects you cannot call this method on normal objects okay so we will have a look at it through our example so we will create a hello class and then after afterwards we will <coughs> define a new method for our hello class so we will just write I'm going to create a new file and very appropriately we will name this file as class eval.rb inside this file we will create a class hello and this class doesn't have any method inside that now we decide that okay I want to define some methods for this class but maybe like inside your code you have done a lot of things and it's like you just cannot go back and again define the method inside this class definition you would rather define those methods during the runtime during the execution of the code okay so how will we do that we write hello so we take our class object we call this method class eval and as an argument this method takes a block so we write to end okay now inside this block we can write whatever we could have written here okay uh, I mean whatever could have whatever could be part of your class definition can also be written here and it will have the same meaning okay so if I write something like def say hi and then I write like okay puts hi then okay so if this method were defined here then it would have meant that there is an instance method for class hello of this name say hi which prints puts hi okay we have used class eval and then a block and inside that block we have defined this method it will have the same meaning so writing def say hi here is equivalent to writing the same code between these two lines okay so what we have done here is that using class eval during the runtime I mean during the execution of this line we are giving our class hello a new instance method so we will see that if we are able to call this method so we will write hello dot new it will create a new instance of hello class and then we call this method say hi the instance method that we just created wq now we will just run this file and yes now we are able to print hi okay so writing this block hello dot class eval to takes us back inside the class definition now we can do whatever we could have done during the definition of that class so if we were able to create instance method then we should also be able to create a class method so we are just going to give that thing a try so now this time we are going to create a class method and how do we do that the way we do inside the class definition class body so we write self dot say hello so whenever we start defining a method with self dot then that means that is a class level method not an instance level method so here inside this block I'm defining a method self dot something then it means that this is going to be available to class hello as a class level method and what this method do is instead of saying hi it will say hello okay now end so what we have done inside this block I defined a method def self dot say hello which will print hello 
So writing this piece of code here between inside the block of class eval is equivalent to writing this method here between these two lines. So if this code was written between these two lines then it would have given hello class a class level method say hello. So this is going to have the same effect. Whatever you write in the block of class eval will have the same effect the one that you will have by writing the same code inside the class body. So we are just going to test that. This is our class object. We are going to call method say hello. We are going to run this file. Yes. So yes, we were able to call that method and it prints hello. So this is the way we use class eval method. This is kind of a very important method when uh, you talk about meta programming or high level of coding in Ruby. And when you go through some beautiful code written in gems or other places, very often you will see this method. So this will become kind of a very common method when you will start looking at the gems or even code written in Rails itself. So that was all regarding class eval. There is a sibling of this method which is instance eval. We will have a look at that method in our future videos. So um, press the like button if you like this video and do subscribe. So that was all for this video. Bye bye.